Hello. All right, I got it going. All right, so I like the perks. So I'll be doing that. It's pretty simple. Be a little um. All right. I think that's going. For, I think he's going for the London. That's what he's going for. The this and then yeah. Okay. I've never really tried the perk against the London. Maybe once or twice, but I don't really know any lines or theory on it. So making sure everything's defended before I move. It's usually pretty easy to do that in this opening. Alright. Alright. So we're both castled. His pieces are all defending each other. Mine are all defending each other. I'm thinking about maybe going here. That's possible. Um, I usually like to pawn storm on the wing. And the center right here, he can take, I can take, he can take. I'll need two more on that. So here and here, or even here and here because if it's x-ray. So I'm going to start with this one and then here after because he can't move the knight because of the queen. I think this is a lot easier to deal with. So if he moves down, I can take, he can take, go up, but there's this. So maybe before going up, I should probably play c6. Okay, that blocks it too. That actually helps me out because if I go here, he goes down, I take, he takes, I'm able to go here because there, he won't be attacking the same square anymore. So I'll, I'll go get it started. I know the idea is to play e5 or c5 as fast as possible in the perk for, for, um, counterplay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright, thank you. Alright. Alright, get the gas on. It's been off for a while. Okay. Take this. He can take. He'll be threatening here. And he'll be threatening here. So it's no good for me. So I should be moving this first. Um, I normally move it back here. I know this seems kind of counterproductive because this night, but usually have them both here sometimes. I can also take right now. And if he takes back, then go back. So I can go back now or after. I usually go back now. And sometimes, if I'm allowed, I'll play this way. But so far, everything looks pretty well defended. Everything's defending each other. Nothing's really hanging. Now, I can't go here immediately because it'll be hanging. And this right now is targeted. Um, this is hanging, but I can't attack it. So it's fine. So I'm going to move this first. So I can move up. I mean, if he goes down, obviously I can just take it with my bishop. I don't have to take it with my pawn and mess my pawn structure up. Okay. So now would be the time to take this and then move up. If I need to move up. Depends on how he captures would determine if I need to move up now or later. Actually, I probably could move up now anyways, regardless. Because of... Alright. Yeah, because if I try later, he can take, I take, and then he can take my pawn. 
for free. So I'll do it now. And this is perfectly fine. I can move this pawn up. I can also move this pawn up to try to trade them off for my bishop. Um, he can't go here or here, but if he's planning on going on this square, maybe that might be okay if that's his plan to target the square, because I might be trying to come up at some point. Um, this will defend this pawn, so I can move this up that way. So I'm going to do that. It looks like it blocks my bishop, but I'm okay with that because. I'm going to be doing something else entirely. I actually can move up now. I thought he was going to go here to prevent me from moving up. And very soon because of that I should get my rook in here very soon. Now I can close it or I can take it. I like taking better because closing it off just really makes my bishop not possible. So taking it and opening things up, I might eventually break through for my bishop. So. Okay, and this allows my knights to attack with my bishop all on the pile up and I can write queen in. So, yeah, so right now we're all piling up here. He's taking his time, which is very good because we have 30 minutes, so he should be taking his time. Probably go over d4, d6. Actually, it's London. It's not really much going on here, really. Okay, he moves. All right, good. So since that's where he's going he's definitely trying to block this off but the thing is I have oops I have one two three attackers here he has one two defenders so I actually can take it now now it would be not wise to take here because he can take back and then his pawn will be defended so I'm gonna start off with this just capture first and if he takes with his bishop I can just take with one of the other. One eleven. I mean eleven eleven. All right. There's not really much going on, but like I said, there's this right here. My knight might be able to come in. I can either take or come in. Right now I'm up a pawn, so if I actually trade evenly, it will be a king. Pawn versus king ending if I actually trade everything evenly. So if I take this bishop here and he takes back, and then I take here, 
and let's say he takes with his knight, defending his pawn. He'd be defending it twice. I'd be able to go over here and attack his pawn twice. But if I take here and he takes back, I take here and he takes with the queen, I'll be able to attack the pawn. Oh, I'll be back one second. take here this will be the capture the other one will be a mistake so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see if he notices it or not right. I wish I can pause the video but can't all right so now I take this way because I'm attacking the pawn here and my queen can come in to attack both these pawns and then I can bring my rook in to maybe even go here also if needed to attack these pawns a third time so I'm developing with threats and I'm constantly attacking pieces multiple times uh, but I think overall development wise I think for the most part is pretty pretty good for the most part I mean, you haven't blown any pieces at all, and it's been um, a couple moves. I can actually take this pawn now, threatening the rook. So I'm going to do that. Take here. And I did check first this. I didn't say anything, but I did check that first to see if he can do anything. Um, he doesn't have any bishops, so it's really difficult to attack here, and his knight's really far away. So I didn't have to think too much about it. Here, up. Oh. Yeah. So right now I'm just threatening this. So you're basically just, you can see the threats to your pieces, it looks like, pretty well. But um, when it comes to pawns, you're not looking at them as you do your pieces. So you might want to include um, that as well. That's pretty much the only thing I see so far. Besides that, I think you're playing very well. Now I'm threatening here. Even though I can't do anything at the moment, I might be able to move my pawns up, which would be the idea. Oops. Here, here, and maybe here. And I can my rook over. Yeah, because if I can trade the rooks, then I should be able to come down this way with my other one. That's what I'm thinking about. I don't really see much of anything that he can actually do that would be pretty good. I know this pawn right now is hanging right now. 
so that's something that needs attention maybe this um, it's possible to go back here but you'd be moving a rook again and it'll be not an open file but it would be x-ring the queen away so if I do anything stupid then oh well, okay that's not too bad anyways I can try to hit it again but not immediately if I go here I'll be attacking this pawn twice I mean if I go here I'll be attacking the pawn twice which isn't really appealing either I can go here and attack them so I'm gonna go here first I think that this might be a pretty good move actually because even though I'm not gonna take the pawn I'm threatening the bishop the knight he can't move the knight away because the rook so he can try to defend it but I can just take it and trade since I'm up two pawns I really can just trade all my pieces and try to go for a queen so that's why you gotta start looking at your pawns the same way as your pieces and defend them the same way you're okay, okay thank you Yeah, so I don't see too much of a problem with your game. Um, like I said, the only thing that I've stood out to me was defending your pawns like pieces is what you pretty much need to do. Okay. Now, if I go here now, you can obviously move your knight but here will be taken here will be taken here then I get to take this piece this would I be able to hold on a second if I go here you can move over yeah you won't be able to take this because of yeah so if I go here let's say you go here I'll be able to take this pawn which so far pawns have been an issue so that's possible another thing possible is moving my rook down to attack the queen to move it out the way so I can come in and call a check which is what I'm thinking about um, if I go here you can move down one I can move this pawn up one leaving this one available so I can come in and call it check and come over here in the future threatening the queen he's defended so I think I can do that so I'm gonna go ahead and start and I'm not gonna say it's not a mistake on your part because that's that's a lot of thinking that's like four or five moves on um, planning for anything under a thousand it's usually one two moves and for the most part focusing on blunders and protecting pieces and pawns so there's that um, I can continue attacking the queen okay and now I can actually come in and call it check like I planned taking another pawn I can actually move this over here and move my pawn up and have everything fortified okay so um, move here let's see Yeah, because I want to find a way to attack and move his all stuff out the way so I can come in more. I mean, if I can go here, that'd be nice. If I can go here. Yeah, I'm going to um, force him to move his queen a bit. Right. 
Now I can go here, it would be a trap, because if you take my bishop, it looks undefended, but then I can just go in here and call it check, and then taking his queen here. So I'll be trading my bishop and rook for a queen and a pawn, which I think I should do. One, take, check, over, take. He can't take this because his knight will be in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack the queen. I just want to see if you go for a tactic, which you did. That would be check. Actually, you can go here. I blundered. I blundered. So. Now that I've blundered, what should I do? If I take here and he takes back, I'll be helping his king develop. I want the king to stay back here. Even though I blundered because I got so many pawns, I'm not in a bad shape. Actually, I didn't fully blunder. I can call it check, he can take it, and then I can get the queen that way by deflection. So even though I messed up, even though I didn't mess up, I almost messed up thinking I messed up. So I, I'm i very resourceful, <laughs> so that's really good for me. I'll just pre-move. Because his king has no move besides taking the rook. I did the same thing last video where I had a 95% accuracy. I freaking I like thought I messed up and it was it wasn't a mistake and I'm like that happens to me a lot. I I don't understand um, if that's normal or not, but. I happen to do that a lot in my games, where I think I messed up and I didn't. Happens at least once per game. So, I'm actually happy this time, because I thought I was going to have to work my pawns. Okay. So, now I gotta push. I'll push this one first. He might try to start coming in, and I can move away. And I don't know if he's gonna double up and try to push his pawns. But. Okay, if I move up, he can he can't take because of my queen. So everything's defended. Yeah, and that tactic I did was a de called deflection. So if you like do tactic trainer at all, or if you have, um, I don't know if you have membership or not, but if you go on the tactics part of chess.com and have the, um, for tactics, is deflection is basically what it's called that I did. And you can always practice those yourself and actually doing with people. Okay, so I can just take, and if he takes back, take here, and then he can take back. But I don't want to do that because I have a, f I don't have a free pawn, but I have a pawn. It's not free because he can take my back. So because it's not for free. Well, there's nothing I can do about it, really. I mean, I can go over here. 
but then he can attack again. And then I'll be forced to go somewhere else, maybe here. So I can defend it. I can defend it. But here, here, here. And then if he goes back to attack my queen again, I can go back here. So here, here, here. Um, he can't go down, so he ha Okay, that looks fine. Just a couple moves for a pawn. If he goes back, then I can take, and I'm still defending this pawn here. Okay, so I can take now, because this pawn is being attacked only once. I also have this available if he moves up here to trade another pair of rooks. And then I can march this pawn up, if that happens. If he captures with the rook, I can do that. Okay. Yeah, for most part, I think it was pretty solid, pretty good. The only thing I, like I said, the only thing I found that was off was that you weren't defending your pawns like you do your pieces. And the simple tactic that I did, I, I missed myself at first. I thought it was um, simpler than what it was, but I had to add a deflection tactic, which I got lucky that I, that was even available to me because I didn't foresee that part. All right, I can just march Check this way. Now, call it check this way. Call it check. It only has a square. Now, oh no, no, no. I almost made the wrong mistake. I mean, made a mistake. This queen is checkmate. The other one was not. All right, that was a good game. I made one blunder. Let's see what the blunder was. One blunder, one mistake, three inaccuracies. Okay, that's the perk. That's my normal opening. That was bad. So, um, this is normally the move that I pretty much see a lot. Yeah. Okay. Best is. Oh, that's really weird. Okay. <laughs> Probably just for that position. Okay. I don't see how it's one material that way, but I'll review it later for myself, my mistakes. But um, that was a pretty good game. Like I said, the only thing I noticed was protecting pawns like pieces, and I simply got lucky on one tactic that I didn't really realize until, you know, last minute. So, let's see. There. Yeah. That move was considered really good. I thought for sure you would just take it, and then I would take the queen. I did not see this move. Um, but it didn't make a difference. But in this game, 
but in a different situation, I would have just simply blundered. So. Alright, well, that's a good game. I don't have to go through every single part of this. Yeah, I almost actually went here instead, which would have gave you this escape square. And then I would have had to go over here, which would have, actually would have been one more move. But Okay, alright, well that's a good game. I hope um, this would be helpful to you.